This was released back in 2009. It's a 12.1 inch color touchscreen display. And if you look on the back here, you got a USB port for plugging in your, your flash drive such as this. We also have our two GPS receivers, GPS 1, GPS 2. So you can add on implement steering or a second receiver for water management. We've got another port here for an RTK radio. Right here is the power button where you turn it on. Here's brightness of the display and this is how we dim the display. So with every FMX display comes a power cable which goes directly to the battery with a fuse and the power cable comes up inside the cab of the tractor and from there we plug this in and then this goes up to the actual display itself. It also will come with the GPS antenna as well as the coax cable to go from the display up to the antenna and we have other custom lengths as well. Here is a sticky back plate for the GPS antenna so it'll stick back onto most any cab of the tractor and then this will magnet stick onto the plate. So right here is the ram mount that goes onto the FMX display. So it has spring loaded in there and so we'll just cinch that right on to our ball and we mount the display from there. Okay, so now we will turn on the FMX display with one click of the power button. Okay, so the FMX has four different guidance options. Number one, we have the virtual light bar across the top of the screen for manual guidance. The next step up would be the easy steer steering system. So this is the module that would mount to the floor of the tractor cab. And this is the motor that would mount up at the steering wheel of the tractor. The next step from there would be the Easy Pilot system, which I have on this demo display model. This here is a Trimble steering wheel that you can get with it. A lot of kits also will work with the OEM steering wheel. This motor mounts in between the spline and the steering wheel itself. And then right here would be the train compensation module that is mounted to the tractor for that. The next, the best step would be the autopilot system, which is integrated into the hydraulics of the tractor. This here is the train compensation module we use for that, which is mounted again to the floor of the tractor kit. With the FMX display, we have a host of different GPS correction types we can choose from. The number one is WAS, which is a free subscription which stands for Wide Area Augmentation System. The next step up would be the Omnistar, a XP and HP, and now we also have G2, which includes GLONASS satellites. And then from there we have RTX, and we can get Standard or Fast, and the Standard Convergence Type will take 15, 20 minutes to converge where the fast will take within one minute. And then we have radio base station RTK systems. So we can use the RTK radio, which is built in with the FMX display. And then we also have a modem we can mount in the cab of the tractor, which will connect to the Trimble VRS network. And we can subscribe to a Verizon or AT&T data plan which this will then connect with that data plan into the internet and so we can get our VRS RTK corrections from the Trimble network. So another big advantage that we have with the Trimble RTK system is what they just released on the 7.2 firmware on the FMX we can have XFIL technology so basically with XFIL we have a radio base station network that we are connected to and if we lose that signal for whatever reason if we have an issue with our base station or if we lose it just going through trees for a short period of time it'll revert back to their RTX satellite system 
So we will be able to maintain our RTK correction type even though we lost signal from the RTK base station. With the FMX display, we have many options to choose from with steering systems, and we also have a lot of options to add on with additional systems such as Field IQ. This here is the Field IQ master switch box, and this here is the Field IQ section switch box. This would be a requirement to add on because we have the the automatic and manual switch, the master switch, and the rate targets. This here is not a requirement for the FMX display since we can use the touch screen to manually shut sections off and on. With the 750 display, this is a requirement to have this. We also have water management, which we can add on to the FMX so we can control a tile plow or a grade level system. We can also add on row guidance and in order to do row guidance or at harvest time we also have to have autopilot installed. It will not work with easy pilot or the easy steer systems. So basically with the row guidance system we will add on feelers on corn head and it will tell us where we need to be on the corn row. For the harvest solution we can also add on the yield monitoring function and we can tie in to can based systems or we can also install a full yield monitor kit which includes the moisture sensor and the grain flow sensor. So another feature with the FMX display is the implement steering. So we already have one GPS antenna which is giving us location on the tractor itself for the steering system so it keeps the tractor on the guidance line. We can also add a second GPS antenna since we have dual GPS receivers on the FMX and we would put this antenna back on the implement so then it would steer the implement on the line as well as the tractor. With the 750 display it only has one internal GPS receiver, so implement steering is not an option. So here on the FMX display, this is what it looks like on the run page.